friends. It's your buddy Tack. How the heck are you guys? How's everybody doing through the apocalypse? Uh, I'm hanging in there. Still got lots of supplies. Uh, snowed the other day, which kind of sucks because I've been working a lot at home. But snow hit, so that kind of slowed down work. I'm waiting for it to melt. Had to cut down a couple more trees. Now I got to start splitting firewood for this coming season. I'm still working a little bit at my job. Uh, at least I'm still getting paid, but I'm only doing like a couple hours a week, something like that. So everything at my job's kind of okay, but it's not going to last for very long. Uh, the part timers probably going to have to go get unenjoyment. There's not many full timers there, so I should be safe for a while. But yeah, that part's a little scary. You know, you don't want to lose your house or nothing. That would suck. So I've been just working at home, cutting lots of firewood, just staying busy. So this is something else I've been doing. Started this yesterday, doing the old maple syrup. Cool. Uh, now the ratio is what? You need 40 gallons to get one gallon of syrup. I got about 20 gallons, so that's a half a gallon of maple syrup, which is still a lot, and that's still gonna last me a while. The first year we did it, Man, I only had one five-gallon bucket, so it only made a tiny bit. But it was it was still awesome. It was a learning thing, you know. Got to learn how to do this. So this year, built the sugar shack. Actually get to use it for what it's for, which is awesome. And got four times as much as I did the first time we did it. Now, next year, I think I'm going to get twice as many buckets, do twice as many trees. That way, at least I'll get a whole gallon of it. Let me tell you, this takes a long time. <laughs> I've been drinking way too many beers. Actually, this is my first one. You know, I don't want to be drinking too early. That's not right. Got to get some work done. But when I'm just doing this, I'm just hanging out, drinking beers, looking out the windows, checking out nature. It, it's I can't believe how freaking warm it is in here. It's got to be maybe 40 degrees out, and it's at least 55, probably 60 degrees in here. And that's just with the old board and batten, old school. I could see how down south or out west that that's all you really need. So just trying to stay busy, trying to stay out of stores. You know, I went to uh, CVS to pick up some medication, and it's funny they put like an extra table in front of the register, so you gotta like lean really far, and that's hard for us midgets. But I did it. It was just tough to do. <laughs> in a lot of stores, the same thing. They put a little table, so it's like a barrier. You gotta. Then I see tape on the floor everywhere, you know, of people in line six foot distance. Yeah, it's, it's definitely weird, you know. There was another guy in there and he's just like looking at me. I'm like, what? You know, if we're keeping our distance, it's kind of funny. Just seeing the whole thing go down. But not really funny. It's not, it's not a funny, you know. I'm just saying how some people are acting. Which you, you should, you know, you got to be smart. You got to keep your distance so you don't catch other people's cooties. And everybody knows I live in Satan State, so I can't believe we have a million more cases than everybody else. I mean, just New York, I think, has about as much as the rest of frickin' America. Isn't that insane? But, see, that's the thing, New York. Everybody's like, oh, you don't have a New York accent. They always think of New York City, and that's where most of the cases are. New York City it really should be New Jersey or something. They're touching, you know, those, all those people sound the same. New York City people and New Jersey people. Yeah, New York City and the rest of the state of New York, they're like two different countries. They're totally different. So I haven't really heard of any around here. There was actually one case I heard of. It was, I don't know, 30 miles away, 40, 50 miles away. But haven't seen it around here, thank God. So that's always good. I'm just trying to stay at home, do my thing, and just stay busy. So I just had to replace the propane tank. Oh, where's your mask? I forgot my mask, sorry. I had to go get another one. <laughs> it just died. So, continuing on with the old maple syrup. Uh, anyways, like I was saying. So yeah, everything's going pretty good. Uh, the other day we were looking for, I already have this, but I was looking for more hydroperoxide or whatever you call that crap and alcohol. And just little stuff, neosporin. And I can't believe how many stores are sold out. So I found some that were on sprawlmart.com. Not that I want to go there. So I ordered that and that should be here tomorrow. I did order a little bit of ammo too. Not much. 
just a couple hundred rounds for some different cows. Uh, 357 SIG, 10 mil, 38 Special, and some more 22. And that's another thing I've been thinking about lately. And that's hunting. Might have to start doing it. And I, I grew up doing it. It was a rite of passage. To hang out with Dad, you had to be a hunter. Because that was like his favorite thing. So I was thinking more 22 just for that. Hunting small game and big game. But lately I've been carrying around the old Mossberg 500. Just around the land. Hey, what if I see a deer or a turkey or whatever. And I got to pop it. You know, I don't want to be shooting raccoons or nothing, but if it comes to that, then you got to do that too. Like I said, we do have more than enough food, but maybe it's a good habit to start doing. I don't know. So, I'm just carrying it around. That's freaking light anyways. I just put a sling on it. I should have had a sling on it. So, I'm just carrying that lately. And it's also good for home defense as well. I always have a rifle loaded in the gun cabinet, and I have Miss Tax rifle loaded as well. That way if it hits the fan, you know, if I'm not here, she can grab her rifle. I always got a pistol on me, but if it's something bigger, then I can just grab the rifle and use that first and pistol as backup as it should be. I'm trying to get Miss Tack to carry her pistol more. She has her pistol permit, but she don't like carrying it. It doesn't seem like it. She did say to me recently, since stuff's going crappier, maybe she should carry it at home. I'm like, most definitely. Of course, I'm going to push that. I want her to get her concealed pistol permit. That's very important to me. So, hey, you guys in the comments, tell Miss Tack, get your damn pistol permit. Start carrying your pistol at home. You know what I'm saying? Back up your man. So this is what I'm using for now. I'm going to do a wood stove or something. I have an old one in my basement I got from Dad. So I might use that. I was thinking about using that in my saloon when I eventually make it. But for now, we're doing this. I don't want to steam up the camera, but oh yeah, the golden goodness. It's looking good. Now what I'm doing is filling this five gallon and I'm bringing it down to like two inches or so or an inch. And then I'm putting them all together and refining it some more. And you gotta strain it multiple times. So we're working on that. This takes forever though. But man, if you get over that and huff that vapor, it smells so freaking good. The only good thing that's coming out of this, like, corona thing if, is if you live. Uh, definitely got to prep more, man. I always kind of thought of myself as kind of one, but not really. You know, mostly just weapons, ammo, stuff like that. But, yeah, I got sort of survival stuff and backup stuff. But you know what? I ain't got nearly enough. I, I don't like how my preps are. I don't like looking at it as, oh, I got two or three months, when this thing can last freaking forever. You know, lockdown are starting to do that to people or whatever, or... I need oh, well over a year's worth of everything. So after this, if we make it through it, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stockpile some crap. Uh, I don't know. That's just how I'm feeling. It's like my priorities are changing from wanting a cool sports car and this and that, and goofing off to uh, what's most important, just living. So you get too comfortable. That's the thing with our society. We get too comfortable. We spend money like whatever on stupid crap that really doesn't matter. Even my totally awesome buggy. I love that thing. But if it hits the fan, what good is it? Or even my race squads. Not that I'll ever sell them. I love them. But you know what I'm saying. Four-wheel drive definitely got a place. But, yeah, frivolous stuff doesn't count anymore. No jewelry or... Fancy crap. I don't know. It just doesn't even have a place for me anyways. Especially seeing how stuff is getting. It's like, what's the basics? What's most important? That's really what I just want to spend my money on now. But that's where your man's at. There's the mind state. I'm happy. I actually like the social distancing. I like not being around humans. I love this. This is like a freaking vacation for me. As long as you don't lose your house and run out of supplies, right? <laughs> it's all fun and games till that happens. Then you're screwed. So, I hope all you guys are doing good out there. Seriously. I hope... Uh, I hope you don't lose your houses or run out of food or nothing like that. That'd be terrible. So, just stay positive. We'll get through this. And put down in the comment section below how you guys are doing. How you're faring through all this. I'd like to read that. It's always good to see my people. Stay safe. And until the next time we meet.